when she steps up to the plinth. The altar, her hair flows about her like a sacrificial veil. When she is wrapped in the gown of white, she becomes a gift. A gift to the people from the people. A gift of the divine God King to the gods and the sun. The God King is all his people. His blood is the people's blood. The God King is made other. Is a sacrifice in his otherness. His otherness is divine and unhuman. His unhumanness makes him other from the people. The people are human. The God King is no longer the people because the people are human and he is divine. In sacrifice, the God King becomes precious and unusable. The God King is then seen as human and divine. The God King's human mortality lets him become one with the divine and those that went before. Those that went before and the sun. His life is offered to them and they must accept for the God King is also divine. This wasteful excess gives a freedom, a power. The God King is man and all men and God. And when his blood is spilled, it is the blood of all. And all whose blood is spilled become divine. And all become divine. And the sacrifice lives on. The martyr has power. For he has died for all. And this is his gift. The God King gives himself to the people. He gives himself twofold. He is made other and gives his humanness when he is made divine. He gives his divinity and becomes mortal when he is made human. Dot and the gift of the God King, the twofold gift, is the ultimate gift and he gives it to all. And all must receive it. For it has been given to them by the God King. And all that receive it are empowered because they are the God King and they also are giving. And the God King has power over them all for they all receive. And the God King's mortality immortalizes him.